Uh, I grew up in the Virgin Islands. I was uh, there for 14 years. I, I grew up there for a little bit. Uh, basically, it looks like paradise. You know, you got sunshine every day, warm weather all around. Uh, I would say 100,000 people there. So it's a pretty small island. Um, everybody knows each other. It's really good vibes everywhere. Um, I grew up in a small uh, village in the uh, island, so pretty good living. I was five minutes away from the beach. So every, every day from school, I would go to the beach and, uh, you know, relax a little bit, you know, enjoy the sun, the sunset, you know, so um, it's pretty, pretty good chill. You got mountain tops, you, got, you can see a nice view, you got cruise ships, you know, tourists come every year and see the beautiful sights and everything. So it's really good vibes everywhere. You know, I, I recommend to come and visit. After my 14 years in the Virgin Islands, I first started playing baseball. I grew up playing baseball at first. Then I came to the States where I uh, got introduced to basketball. So I've been playing since my eighth grade year. And uh, after that, you know, I moved up, got leveled up and uh, started getting better and better as I went on my training in the States. So I uh, was in Virginia for like 10 years, um, Newport News, Virginia. And then I moved to Hampton, Virginia. And then after that, I uh, went to uh, college in uh, Iowa. I went to uh, Iowa Western, that's a junior college. So I went to junior college first for two years. And um, it was good experience there, you know, it's small, small community, small college, small city. It's uh, located in uh, Council Bluffs, Iowa. So like 20 minutes from uh, Omaha, Nebraska. And pretty much small, small country town, you know, cornfields out there, you know, not, not much people. Um, but it was also a really good place to be. And then after that, I went to, I got recruited by Arizona State. I uh, committed there, um, went on a visit and everything. I really liked it that much, and I spent two years there. It was really good two years, and uh, it was really good. I didn't know much uh, which uh, degree I wanted to be in, but I chose business. It was uh, pretty much balanced out with uh, basketball and uh, school, so I didn't want to do anything like too difficult. So I wanted to do like a biology or sociology, but it took up too much time consuming time. So you know, I just wanted to try business, and it was you know, level out. You know, it's a good degree to have at the end of the college. Nah, a little bit. I manage my own money a little bit, you know. <laughs> Trying to you know do it on my phone all the time, you know. So. I try to, you know, look at my phone every time, see what stocks are going up, what stocks are going down, you know, try to look at my phone every time, you know, so it's a good way to make money, you know, so I just try to invest in that way and try to make some more money on the side, you know. Uh, after uh, I graduated from Arizona State, um, I didn't know what to do after that, you know, where to sign, where to go, so I uh, signed with an agent. And after that, he introduced me to this uh, Hungarian uh, team that's called uh, Falco. And they're located in San Monte, uh, Hungary. And um, after that, you know, they, they were playing in the Champions League. So that was really much, you know, a big reason why I would, you know, go there. And uh, it's a pretty good program. And after that, you know, I went to, uh, I spent another year in that same team. You know, it's a pretty good program. So I decided to stay another year. And after that, you know, I went to, uh, to play in um, Puerto Rico after that, and it was pretty good as well. You know, there's uh, pretty good vibes over there, you know, same as my uh, island. You know, it's like pretty much the same. So being in Puerto Rico, you, you know, it bring a lot to me being back home, and, you know, it was a good adventure. Ah. Uh, Biggest Marvel movie, I would say, is probably all the Avengers. You know, all the action Avengers movies. Uh, but my, I think my favorite one is uh, Infinity War. And that's probably one of my favorites. You know, it's, it's between Endgame and Infinity War, you know. So I would say those two are probably my favorite. You know, I think a lot of people would hate me for this, but I think Thanos was right in that situation, you know, because he had, you know, he was talking about, you know, the universe and all these people, you know, the holidays going bad and everything. He wanted to start back over. So I think Thanos was right in that situation. I don't really think it's realistic how you know they beat Thanos because he had all those you know Infinity Stones. So you know I'm a little bit on Thanos side. <laughs> I 
he was like that yeah as well too but you know Thanos had a more experience of you know trying to get things right with the universe and you know he had a more out bigger outward um you know how to change the universe and all these things so I think Thanos had a bigger experience on that I would say from Hungry and uh, Sloops, I would say they're much the same because the town that I was in, you know, is pretty small, you know, around 100,000 people. So it's pretty much the same as, you know, Hungry and uh, Sloops. Um, I would say my favorite spot around here is uh, the Milkshake Bar. I go to that all the time, almost every day, just to get a, um, a Oreos and a peanut butter milkshake every time. So I'm probably going there right after this too to get a uh, milkshake right now, but uh, I think that's probably one of my favorite spots. And uh, I get a lot of express checking when I go to Uber Eats as well too, so that's always good, you know? So that's, that's pretty much it.